Hello everyone. So today we will see attributes of series object. Since series is an object, so it will have some properties. These properties are called attributes of series. Series will have indexes. It will have data. Series will take some size to in memory. So like these, there are some attributes of series. Here we are seeing those attributes like index. This is a series object variable. So if a series object is S, we will write S dot index. So here series represent S. Index will return the range of index. Values will return the values of series. Using D type, I can see the data type of underlying data. Using shape, I can find the shape of series. It will return a tuple with one value, which represent total number of data in the series. Using n byte, I can find the number of bytes series object will take to store in the database. Using nDIM, I can find the number of dimensions, which will be one for series, which will be one, always one for series. Using size, I can find the number of elements in the series. In this case, it is three. Using has NANs, I can find if any of the data is NAN or not. It will return true if any data is NAN, otherwise false. I can see if the series is empty or not. It will return true if series is empty, otherwise it will return false. You can see all these are attributes, not functions. Since there is no braces in all these names. If these are these were functions, then we have to use braces with these names. Since these are attributes, we will use directly by putting dot s dot values. Now let us see examples for these attributes. Let us consider S is a series object which is having 1, 2, 3 and 4 data. So using S dot index, it will return a range index which is starting from 0 and ending at 4 with step 1. Starting with 0 ending with last minus 1 that is 3 with step 4 step is 1 so range index is a data type like range so we can convert it into list and we can see our indexes using and m i can find the dimension which will be always 1 using size I can find the size number of elements in the series. You can see there are four elements. That is why it is returning four. Using has nuns, I can find if any value is any n or not. Since there is no none, I, it is returning false. Using empty, I can find if my series is empty or not. Since this is not empty it will return false series dot values will give the values of that series d type will return the data type this data type you can match with the data type that was printing at the time of printing the series Shape will return the shape. 
in the tuple format where this data represent the number of elements in the series and bytes will return the number of bytes series object s takes to store in the memory these are different attributes of series you can try these by doing practical at home thank you